what's up guys welcome back to my channel you know we talk about gig work uber boat ride share in general we've spoken about shaxi we've talked about a lot of uh you know gig gig work which is uh ride share like i've, I've already mentioned so today we are i'm back with another video is a requested video from many new drivers that uh just find this page one way or the other and then they have questions on on many divers uh, or different topics that they, they they wish to have answers for these are five questions that new drivers or people let me say people that are interested in driving once they find my video or maybe from um, other colleagues they they find it interesting that they want to join the gig work they most often ask these questions when they go on youtube search for videos they find my video this is a, a one-stop video for new drivers and then also for people that are interested so that they'll make up their mind this video can help them make up their mind and then they'll know how the job is so the one thing that um, many new drivers or people that are interested in driving ask is which app is the best oftentimes when they ask me these questions i tell them that there's no one answer you can't say you can't pinpoint and say this app is the best this other app is the best no there's nothing like that because all these apps are working strategically to make money and to make profit so you also have to work strategically to also make profit so definitely we are in to make some money so therefore every time that should be your mind there's no you shouldn't be dedicated to one app even if it's killing you then you are there i see a lot of boat drivers that are complaining that and today this and today that if boat is not good for you switch to uber if uber is not working for you switch to shaxi if shaxi is not working for you switch to yangu yes so if you don't find yourself anywhere just move to the other what i do personally i would like to share what i do personally is that i mostly do uber during the weekdays uber weekdays because uh, when I'm when I'm when I'm free, I can I can win the Uber bonus in about two days. Yes, the Uber Quest I can win it in two to three days. Then I use the Thursday and then the Friday to make some profits because I won't be charged. Uber the Uber Quest, as explained in the Uber video, is mostly a percentage. You do some you do a number of trips and then you, give, you get a percentage. The higher number of trips you do, uh, the package you choose, the higher the percentage you get. So that's just setting the background. So um, when I do Uber, I make sure by Tuesday to Wednesday, I'm done with the quest. And then Thursday, Friday is a lot of profits made. This is because on weekends, boat is a bomb. On weekend, I love boat. Boat to just give you everything you want on a weekend. So that is the trick that uh, is, is to this work. So some, that works for me perfectly. Somebody else will tell you that, oh, maybe Yango and the combination with boat will work. For him someone will tell you shaxi and a combination with blah 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 will work so you know so it's it's just a back and forth thing that uh, you'd have to study for yourself but what our advice is that you should get all the apps get the boats get the uber get the yango get the shaxi and any other new one that you feel like you can work with just get them and then start working steady the steady the steady how things go and then definitely you would be you'd be satisfied with one or two options then you go with them Another thing that you, you should do when you're using these apps is, is that these apps are, are designed in a way that we work more than, than we, we, we gain. So you should put yourself first. Always put yourself first. Make sure you are not being pressured by any rider. Make sure you are not, you are not doing, you are not over speeding. Make sure nobody's giving you any pressure because these apps don't care. When you have an accident, they don't, they don't care that much. You go back and forth, you go back and forth, nothing might happen. So just be careful with the work as a new driver. Be be careful, be cautious, be 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 mindful of your car at least, because the car and even yourself, because you, you really have to be healthy to be doing this job. It's not easy. Though after some time it becomes easy, but in your first days definitely you are going to struggle. That's just the background of it. There's no particular app for this work, and then everybody should have more than one app at least myself i told you earlier i have just uber and then boat and uh shaxi also but shaxi is not working for me so i've left it behind for a while when they revamp and they are back definitely i would like to support a, Ga a ghanian a ghanian made you know app yes so number two oftentimes new drivers or interested drivers ask where where more trips are and it's a funny question because I always tell them that there's there's no such thing as a place where there is more trips this is because 
once you are at a place, let's say you're at East Legon, you're at Accra Mall, and somebody, so it, it takes only one trip for you to leave Accra Mall to go to, say, Tema, which has relatively, like, lower pace of, 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 of trips. It just takes a trip to move from one place to another. So there's no particular place that you can say that, oh, I want to drive here so that I can go and make more money. It's, it's, it's just a myth. So what you should do is that you should work strategically always. There's no place that you can say that there are trips. I, for instance, live at Ablekuma. I can't say that, though, of course, I get trips from here. Sometimes I don't, sometimes. Because the whole thing is, is, is an app. People, it depends on the time that you are up. If you are not up in the rush hour, you definitely have to be lucky or blessed to have a trip at odd hours. You know, it's, 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 it's all those factors. So there's no way you can say that you want to... You want to know where there are more trips. There's no way if, like, you get a trip. Let's say I live at Ablekuma. I get a trip to, say, Tema in the morning. Then I'll say by force, I want to, I want to work in East Legon today. You can't force that. So what, you, what we should mostly do is just to pray. I believe prayer. I believe in prayer. And then I, believe, I recommend Jesus Christ. Start your day in the morning. Make sure you start early as a new driver. Start early. I've always said this thing in all the videos. Start early, start early, start early. Just make sure you leave home by 6 a.m. You should be on your first trip. And then that will give you a lot of gab to work longer and, you know, work more profitable. Because 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. is rush hour. You make three hours of work. You can pause from 9 to, say, 2. Because from 9 to 2 is a very bad time. No, not, not much is happening. I'm not saying you won't get trips. Definitely you can get some trips, but it's not the best time to... To, to, to look forward to working. So you can either rest or do other things between that time. Then from 2 to say 6, 8, depending on, on how the day goes. Because sometimes you can be driving and then you get a trip towards your, your destination earlier than you expect to close. You should just use the advantage to just close and go home. But yes, another question that new drivers ask me is how to maintain your car. This is a very smart question. It's very needed because maintenance is, is key to this work. If your car is not maintained, I see sometimes that drivers get like drivers car, drivers cars break break down on the road. You oftentimes see that oh there's a breakdown somewhere here and there. It, it happens, you know. Sometimes it's not it's not their fault. Sometimes too is is theirs because maintenance is not a regular thing to do. So for I'll just give some maintenance tips. I'll do a proper video on maintenance, but this is just for new drivers. So I'll just keep it short and keep it brief. So new drivers, what they, what they can do or what new drivers should always keep in mind is that maintenance starts from usage. Um, maintenance starts from using the car because from let's say you buy a, a new car from um, America or wherever. I buy my cars from Korea. We have a deal at Korea. If you're interested, link up. We'll buy a car for, for you from Korea. I'll do another video on that. So all my two cars I've bought so far is from Korea. We buy it. We know people there. They buy it. They bring it. So that's just some ad advert tip right here. So on, on that note, when, when in the first instance of using your car you should make sure that you are never ruining it like you should make sure you are using it with all the care that you can give it make sure you are checking your water every morning make sure you are checking the level of your oil make sure you are cleaning your car make sure you are not over speeding on rough roads make sure you are not even speeding like you in for rough roads you should you should be too careful you should drive in the tortoise style you know Oftentimes, um, riders will ask me why I'm driving so slow, and I'll tell them that I, I, I really can't drive fast on such roads because I, I won't jeopardize um, my shocks or my suspension for, let's say, a 15 cities trip. I wouldn't do that. And funny thing is, even if, even if you see private cars on those roads, you see how they are driving very carefully. How much more a car that doesn't belong to you, you want the driver to destroy their cars. That's not, that's not a good place to be. So if you're a rider and you're watching this, please don't go and give us pressure on the streets. So that's one. Make sure you are changing your oil on time. Make sure you are checking your water. Make sure you have like a dedicated mechanic that knows your car. Because I believe um, once you go to like a mechanic, they get familiar with the car. So changing mechanics is not the best thing. So just make sure you have one fixed to you. Proximity wise, it's close to you. And then that should be that should be fine in the in the in the space of or in the course of, of, of work. Maybe you want to drive, you want to do this gig work for two years, you want to do it for three years, you want to do it for one month, whichever. I've been doing it for close to two years this year. So that would be it for maintenance. Start the maintenance by the usage. Use it wisely. Use your car wisely. Use your car calculatedly. Use your car everythingly. Like just just don't mess with it. 
it is it is the business yes the car is the business the car is is more important to me than even the rider so don't don't in in the sense that don't use the the, the riders ideas don't be influenced by the riders choices no speed driver speed so that I, I get to my place by 20 minutes i have to be at this place i'll tell you that no you should have moved earlier that is not my doing you should have moved earlier you know that you have an appointment at two you leave home by one if you know your your distance is quite far that's what you do you can't come and pin me down that it's something that the map is saying that you use it in 15 minutes you are telling me i should read it in 20 minutes i won't even mind you such cases i don't such instances i don't even say a word i just nod and i i do what i do because you can't come and take the steering wheel from my hands so that is that for maintenance which floor is the best <laughs> this question is, is 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 confusing because as a new driver i used to think that oh um every floor is the same and then when i pick up um attendants and managers of four stations especially the unpopular ones they tell me that oh it's, it's all the same just that is because of brand that some are more expensive than the others but in my experience in this work, I've realized that no, that can never be true. Because not only me, but my driver friends and uh, mentees that I have in my group always agree to the fact that the more popular brands are better than the less popular brands. The more expensive brands are, are better than the less expensive brands. You can't have it both ways. Good things cost some money. So, and mostly I, I tell everybody that when you, are, when you are looking at the difference, even in four, it's not even worth it. Because if, let's say, you are jeopardizing your engine for, let's say, a 20 pesos per liter uh, a difference, it's, it's not wise. I believe it's not wise. You shouldn't, you shouldn't jeopardize your, your car that way. You sh your engine should always be your priority. Because it's the, it's the, it, as, it, as the name goes, an engine is what drives the car. So you should, you should never play with your engine. Make sure you're buying the best fuel. I don't like to do any serious uh, adverts for any, any station or any fueling station. That's why I've not, I've not mentioned names. But for you to know further or the exact or the particular fuel, I would do that in my group. You can join my group, my WhatsApp group. You can WhatsApp me on 0277779306. Yeah, so this is, a, this is a bonus for those who watch up to this point of the video because many people will be skipping and then when you skip, you won't find the WhatsApp group number. So guys, the fifth question is that what car is the best car? Oftentimes, new drivers, not even new drivers, this, this one doesn't really go to new drivers, but uh, new prospects. <laughs> yes, I if I can say that, or let's say, those like I mentioned earlier, those who are now interested, those who are looking for information to, to, be, to be drivers, when they often ask me that what or which car is the best for this job and every time i tell them i tell them one same thing i say every to everybody that there's nothing like the best car if you ask me there's nothing like that the best car is the one that consumes less if they should produce a car that consumes 0 0.1 that's what i'll be going for trust me that has all these features like this car has an engine like this has whatever because the lesser fuel you buy, the more money you make. Because, like, right now with fuel prices, 80% of our money goes to fuel. <laughs> Not 80, though, but that's just exaggerated. But you get my point. Like, it's easily influenced. Fuel is something that can change today and tomorrow. So you shouldn't fix yourself in, in, in like, a big engine car. There's no profit. There's no profit, sincerely. So I believe that from 1.0 to... 1.5 is ideal definitely 1.0 make more money than 1.5 i've done a video full video on this before i'll put it up here so that you can appreciate it more you can watch that after this i also put it at the end screen so that you can watch it so that one talks about fully why you need um a smaller engine car so um like i'm saying every car goes through some 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 phase of verification or or what's it called standardization yes so every country that produces cars have standard boards that uh, meet some requirements so definitely every car generally has some strength has some level of whatever though of course their cars are stronger than the others but that shouldn't be your focus because once you are maintaining your car very good there shouldn't be any problem with um, durability people before i bought this my car this is the second time i'm buying the same car People often say that and, uh, um, your Daewoo matches, you know, the four plugs though, not the small one. But uh, let's say the Chevy Spark is not the best. 
and then uh, because it's, it does does it does this but i've been using this car this is, why would i even buy another same car if it wasn't that good so this car is actually very good it has been working perfectly my first one worked nicely i gave it i sold it and then i bought this one this one is also working perfectly so far since march it has been here it has been doing fine no major um, um, um works done on it just the regular changing of oil since much even uh, my brakes have not changed so that is it with maintenance of, of a good car you just change oil you just change brakes and even if you are driving very well brake changes will take longer for you to 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 change or to to, to okay because you'll be using the brakes less you'll be calculating your speed more so that you won't be using your brake often that is just some maintenance tips that you can keep so there's nothing like the best car nothing 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 like that in my dictionary i don't know what others will say but to me there's nothing like the best car like i was saying consumption is everything i could have bought a chevy spark a chevy spark is usually 1.2 mine is 1.0 i prefer the 1.0 so i always go back to the 2010 model chevy sparks are mostly after 2010 so let's say 11 12 1, uh, 13 14 that's why you have the chevy spark because it's the same car the same engineering the same space the same uh, body everything is the same um, if you come to the end of this video i dropped my whatsapp number in this video you should check it out make sure you watch the whole video that reminds me um my this channel we are almost hitting 1k though i've not been consistent this, at the recording of this video i was at i think 914 subscribers we are just left with about 86 to hit the 1k mark i remember telling niemo some time back that when i hit 1k i'll be so overwhelmed and it's, it feels it feels like yesterday and it's close so please help me to reach 1k i also have about 3000 watch hours i'll need 1000 more to hit 4000 and then this channel will be monetized so that is what i'm waiting for i definitely have to make some money for my efforts it's not easy getting out there recording outside you know checking the sunshine checking all that so please support this channel tell somebody about this channel send this channel to somebody else you know subscribe yourself if you're a viewer i've realized that my videos do better than my 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 subscriber count when you come around and you watch a video please subscribe don't hesitate smash that subscribe button hit that like and share this video so that we can reach that 1k fast asap in the minimum we are like right now right now so please do that and don't forget to leave any comments if you have any questions leave comments if you have any recommendations if you have any answers to some of the things i've said or any additions you can add it to the group if you're an experienced driver you can always share your, your opinions about the things I've said. So that we'll all learn. So if you're home and then you know somebody that is home, you know somebody that has a driver's license, that the person is home, please let the person watch some of these videos to encourage them that it's not over. You can take this job up, make some good money. Sincerely, you can even make good money than going to your office or looking for an office job. That is also there, depending on how, how hard and dedicated you work. So please don't be discouraged if you are home, you are watching this video, looking for a gig work to do. This is a confirmation that this video is for you. Pick up your driver's license, go out there, look for a car, contact Facebook, go out there, look for people that are looking for drivers, and then enroll. Make some money. Don't sit at home, don't sit at home idle. Please don't do that. And then I call you blessed. And then subscribe. And let's not forget to have a very